This video lesson is going to cover adding additional hard drives or physical volumes to an existing volume group. If I run sudo vgs, I can see that I have a volume group named mydata-vg with only one physical volume. Now if I run lsblk, I can see here's hard drive sdb or dev sdb, and that one currently has those two logical volumes I created in previous lessons, but sdc D and E are still available for me to be able to use. So I want to add these physical drives to my volume group. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and convert SDC over to a physical volume. So if I run sudo pv create forward slash dev SDC, that's my hard drive that I want to convert. This is going to convert the hard drive to a physical volume, or basically it's going to put a label on it to let the file system know that this belongs to, or is a physical volume that can belong to a volume group. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And let me run lsblk, this time with a dash f. And what I'll notice is sdc is different than sdd and e because it has this label or file system type lvm2 member. It doesn't yet belong to the volume group, but it is capable of belonging to a volume group. Let's go ahead and add that now to the volume group. To do that, I'm going to run sudo vg extend, and this will extend my volume group to include a new physical volume. I'll give it the name of my volume group, and then the device that I want to extend. There we go. I've now just added dev sdc to my volume group called my data hyphen vg. If I run sudo vgs, you'll see that I now have two physical volumes here. Okay, to let you in on a little secret, you don't have to actually convert the hard drive over to a physical volume first, because when I run the command vg extend, it'll actually in the background convert the drives first to the physical volumes before adding them to the volume group. So that step I just did is technically unnecessary, but if you're having trouble converting a drive over to a physical volume, you can then use just that command to figure out if, if, whether or not it works. So to show you what I mean, I can run sudo vg extend my data dash vg. And then let's go ahead and add in dev sdd as well as dev sde. Now I can continue to keep adding additional drives if I have them. I can also use a shortcut where I can put in D through E, which just happens to be D and E, or like I've seen it, I've shown you in other videos, I can also use comma separated values as well. So let me do D through E. All right, so now it's going to do SDD as well as SDE. I'll go ahead and hit enter, and if you look, the physical volume has been su successfully created, and the volume group my data vg has been successfully extended. So now if I run sudo vgs, I can see that I have four physical volumes to this volume group. And since each one of these vol volumes are only one gigabyte, I can see that my volume size has now been extended to four gigabytes or just slightly less than four gigabytes. If I run sudo vg display dash v, I can see that in a little bit more detail. So going through, this is all just a single volume group that I have here. So here's my volume group. This is the logical volume that belongs to it. This is my second logical volume that belongs to it. And now here are my physical volumes. So the first physical volume is the one that has my logical volumes currently um, residing on them. So out of the 255 possible extents, uh, I've got all used but except 64. And then on my new three drives, they all have 255 available, or they have 255 in total, as well as 255 available. So these drives can be used in my volume group to either extend my logical volume or to add additional logical volumes. Now let's go ahead and look at a couple other commands. sudo pvs will show me the quick summary of all of my volumes. And I can see here I have sdb, sdc, d, and e. They're all physical volumes that belong to the volume group mydata-vg. And they're all formatted with LVM2 format. And then I have some attributes, the size, and so forth. This one here tells me how many megabytes are currently free. 
on each one of the drives. So the PVS or the physical volume summary is a nice quick little command to show just a little summary snapshot of what's going on. But I can also run sudo PV display. And I can see each individual drive, a little bit more detail about each one of the drives. And each of the drives are formatted with the PE size of four megabytes. And again, that's how I end up getting my total of 255 physical extents. It's 255 times four megabytes, which will then total the one gigabyte. So each one of these drives are all broken up into those chunks of physical extents um, equally with four megabytes. And I can go through here and see the details of each one of my drives. Okay, so that concludes this video. In the next video, we're going to look at removing the physical drives, both active and inactive physical drives, from our volume group, as well as removing the logical volumes and the volume group itself from our machine.